106. Wow. Claudia Zwolinska, bronze medal at the World Championships last year. Fifth at the Tokyo Olympics. Always thereabouts, promising so much. She is one of, if not the fastest paddlers on the course, but she does take risks and she does often pick up a little touch here or there, which can sometimes be the difference in the color of the medal that she's getting. But so far, a little bit of a different line there from Zwolinska. Gets the job done though. No touches yet. Remember that time, that split time that you're looking at there, that is Jess Fox's split time. And she had a raw 106. So if you're anywhere in the vicinity of that, then you're going to be safe. Claudia Zwolinska spent some time in Australia this year, as did a lot of the paddlers. A lot of them came back to Australia this year. They, they stopped during COVID. It was just too hard. And then they didn't really come back straight after COVID was lifted. The travel restrictions were lifted. But this year, quite a few of the international paddlers decided to go back down to Penrith. Of course, next year, Penrith will host our world championship so every opportunity these paddlers get to paddle on a world championship course is time well spent uh, gate touch on 15 for Zwolinska but her time oh it's going to be close it's going to be close she's not going to go under 110 I don't think but can she go under 112 it's going to be no I don't think so I think she's just blowing out now and that two second penalty is going to prove very costly for the Polish paddler yes 